Okay, welcome back. Um, I'm in Photoshop now, and I'm going to open up that um, out UV TIFF that we just created within Maya um, into Photoshop. So I'm going to go open, and there's my file. You, you can see that it's in the Project One IBM, and it's in the Images folder within your Maya projects. So let's just open that up, and there's our UV map. Now, what I like to do is change this straight over um, so I go to image adjustments and invert it so that I've got black lines on a white background now because it's a TIFF, a TIFF will sometimes take in um, an alpha map which will make uh, certain parts of it transparent uh, we don't really need that so if you go into channels um, I think it's windows and then channels down there um, you'll see the alpha map in there, just delete that. That gets rid of it. Back into layers. Now this background layer, I'm just going to double click on it and just call it BKG. That breaks it from being a standard background. Um, then I'm also going to make a duplicate copy of it. And because I want my lines to be blacker, then I'm going to use the mode um, multiply that will make them thicker and finally I'm going to merge it down um, so I can go merge down control E on your keyboard okay so there we got that so now I'm going to apply um, just a colored background behind it so I'm going to create a new layer um, and I'm going to call it base underscore color and I'm going to just pick a kind of gold, a nice kind of golden colour for it and I'm just going to use the paint bucket down here just to fill it then I'm going to put it underneath the BKG layer I'm going to select the BKG layer and I'm going to put it to multiply okay now I'm going to save this out so I'm going to go, I'm going to save it first as a Photoshop file so I'm going to save as and that will allow me to turn it into a Photoshop file. I'm going to leave it in the Images folder in the Out UV, so that's where all my source files are going to be. And I'm just going to lay, label that as Color Map underscore Map, and save that. Okay, now I want to save it as a TIFF file again. You could save it as a JPEG. And this time I'm going to go up and put it into the source images folder where I've got my checker map at the moment and leave it as color map.tiff. It relates to the PSD file, so everything will be, you'll know where everything is. And then I'm just going to save that in there. Um, I'm going to discard layers and save a copy. I'm going to leave it as IBM, you've got Mac, you'd have it as Mac. Um, that's all else said though, it can be checked, that's okay, that's fine. Uh, and I'm just going to click OK there. Okay, now I can close Photoshop down and you and I will add it to my to my model. So I'm going to close this. You can see I've got the tutorials that I'm setting up. And I'm going to open Maya up now and I'm just going to add this created map to the model and you'll see the effect I'm going to save this as straight away because I want it to. We're moving on to the next stage. So it's gun color. And I'll just save that. Okay, now I'm going to then go to my hyper shade. Or actually, don't really need to. I'm just going to go to rendering. I'm going to select a Lambert color there. And in my color, hit the check box, um, 2D texture type normal, in file, 
we'll then locate the file which should be in source images color map and we're going to open that and close it and now you can see that our gun has come in and colored quite nicely using that image map and it's still got all the lines on it because I've included those if I could turn them off in Photoshop then none of those lines would have been included so I think you can see where we're going to go here we're actually going to start now adding detail into that image map within Photoshop and then taking away obviously the, the wireframe and then it will start laying it and we'll know exactly where everything is on the map so that's what we'll start doing next we'll put some detail into this um, change the colors up a little bit change the trigger color maybe put a handle type thing in here um, maybe something at the back um, a few little holes and blemishes and things and uh, from that map we're going to then create the bump map um, I'm also going to show you how to create a normal map as well using the NVIDIA plugin which is free from NVIDIA's website I'll give you details of that when we get onto it but basically for now that is it so there's my gun you can see rendered out using default lighting sets and we'll move on to actually blocking in the colors and putting the detail into the color map in the next lesson just save that scene and by the way just clear your history so edit delete by type history and save it again and that's it for this lesson